everyone, it's Julia. This week I've been working on making these cute little journals, the little mini journals, and I completely came upon it by accident on how I constructed and made this. Um, and I'm going to show you that. I, and I'm making three different types. I'm going to be selling these probably in my little um, summer shop, but I have a, a faith journal a memories journal and a gratitude journal. Those are the three different themes that I'm going with. I'm going to be showing you how I actually made the little booklet in this video and then I think I'm going to make, uh, so the video doesn't get so long, I will show you how I decorated each one of these in, in, in different videos um, in part one, two, and three. So let's get started. What you're going to need for, to make this little booklet is a Sizzix Big Shot I use the Tim Holtz alterations die, and this is the um, the, the tags, tags and book plate Tim Holtz alteration die cut. And then you're going to need cardstock. Um, I get this. This is the uh, the trick that I found, and I'm, I don't know if all printers do this or not. But my print, my local printer has a scrap box, and it's free. And it's basically this, the cardstock that they cut down from, from a legal size paper to the, to the letter size. And so it's just the absolute perfect size for making these little booklets or any kind of tag. Um, and they measure, let's see, they measure 11 by, 11 by four for the large, for the, for the card, the outer size. And for some reason these light, these white ones were a little bit shorter and I actually picked them up from the printer this way and it works to my advantage in this particular little booklet and the white ones measure 10 by the 4 inches and so this is how this is really slick you, you need one of the outer color and three of the inner colors and you basically fold these in half and I do use a little bone folder for this particular fold, or just whatever works for you, um, a scissor and or whatever. So that one needs to be folded, and then all three of these white ones need to be folded in half. I have discovered that I can cut four layers at a time with this. This is kind of heavier cardstock. So basically, um, I can, I, it takes two different cuts for each one of these little booklets. But what I do is I line it up, stick one in front of the other, make sure that the creases are even. And then when I go to put this in the, into the, or on the, the die, I lay it so that, I hope you can see this, but I lay this so that this edge is not all the way up to the top. It's probably about a sixteenth of an inch away from the top of that cutting cutting metal that the, that the die cuts with. And then you go ahead and you use your plates and just kind of carefully get this the plates on there. And then I'm running and run it through my machine. Move this over so you can see it run through here. Okay. Move this out of the way so you can kind of see. Punch out the little hole. Okay, and then what you have is a booklet that isn't completely cut through. And so each one of these little booklets has basically six little papers inside. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the other one and then I'll show you how I connect, connect it at the top. Okay, I have all my little papers cut and I have them just kind of sandwiched inside here. And the last thing I do is I take a piece of either baker's twine or this is just like a little piece of extra yarn I had from another project, probably about oh, eight inches or so of it. 
and you want it to, to loop, it, loop it through and tie it and you want it to be secure but not tight otherwise you won't be able to turn the, open up all the pages and um, so anyway loop it through and then I'm going to just tie a knot kind of on the top of it so that it stays in place but like I said again it doesn't um, it's loose enough so that you can you can move the pages around okay and then it can lay flat and you're able to write add pictures quotes uh, whatever you want in your little booklet just kind of a sweet little thing it's so easy to decorate another cool thing about this is it can easily fit in a birthday card um, it's nice and flat um, so you can just add a, like a little gift to a, a birthday card. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and in my next video show you how I went ahead and decorated the cute little covers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a chance to to make one of these and maybe include it in a, in a little gift. Um, or if you do craft shows, it's a perfect craft show item. That's just one of those little quick pick pick. pick pick up ones that are, aren't too expensive. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you had a chance to create today. Thanks for watching. Bye.